uh, welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. My name is Revati. I am Java full stack trainer at Gautam IT Solutions. Uh, today we are going to start with programming language. What is the need for programming language? Why we basically need programming language? Okay. So when the term programming language will come into your head, you will have the so many options in your head like C is there, C++ is there, Java is there, .NET, Python, so many languages are there. Okay. People often confuse with choosing the language, which language to choose like that. So the basically basic language will be told as C language. Okay. Basic language we have as C language in our uh, BTEC first year or in our degree also, they will introduce C language as a basic language. What is the need for programming language? Why the programming language we require? So let's discuss that. First of all, what is language? Language, when we see, when language, when we heard the term language, we will understand it is for communication purpose. We use language to communicate with each other. For communication purpose, we use. How many type of languages we have? In India, we have so many type of languages like Telugu, we have Hindi, English, Marathi. Tamil, everyone have their own mother tongue and they will learn first of all that language and they will communicate in that language. Now the rule to communicate with each other, what is the rule? The person who is talking the language, he should also know the language and the person who is hearing to the language that also should understand that language. Then only the communication is possible in two way. In the same way that language will become medium to communicate with each other. In the same way now we are using English language to communicate with you all. So that is basic language meaning. Then as we already have these many type of languages for every country have different languages, some different state and different languages over the state also as we take the example of our India. Okay. So why the need of programming language is there? What is the need for programming language? Programming language is used to communicate with the computer basically. Programming language is for communicating with the computer. Communicating with computer. Okay. What is the need? Why we need to communicate with the computer? Let's suppose if we want to perform certain kind of operations. Let's suppose if we want to perform 5 factorial. It is easy to perform 5 factorial. If we want to perform 120 factorial, how much long time it will take? It will take for human calculations, it will take somewhat more time. At that point of time, to perform complex operation, to perform complex operation, we, we make the utilization of computer. To perform complex operation, we utilize computer. Okay, so the computer, if you imagine today's world, we cannot imagine anything without computer. In every application, in every organization, in our day to day life also, we are using computers. So it is very important to know how to communicate with the computer. To communicate with the computer, we are having language which computer understands and we also understand. That is nothing but C, Java, C++, Python, .NET. These languages we use as a intermediate language between V and computer. As in the same way how I am using English language to communicate with you people. You people know English, I know English. That is the reason we are able to communicate with each other. I am able to transfer my knowledge to you guys because you were able to understand English language. In the same way to communicate with the computer, you should learn computer languages. That is nothing but programming language to give instruction to the computer. Okay. I hope it is clear to you guys. Let's see programming language. Programming language. What are programming languages we have? C we have C++. Java, Python, .NET, okay, there are other few programming languages are also there. Basically, we use C language for as a basic language to learn. 
whenever we learn c language whenever we learn java anything we will come up with the word called syntax okay we will come up with the word called syntax what do we mean by syntax if we tell if we ask to our faculty or anyone they will say that is nothing but you have to write the code in certain way that is nothing but syntax they will tell if you miss syntax if you miss any semicolon or if you miss anything in the program they will tell this is nothing but the part of syntax you cannot miss it that is nothing but if we take the generic example or generic definition of syntax that is nothing but set of instructions syntax is nothing but what guys set of rules which are given to computer okay that is nothing but syntax great now how we will communicate with the computer let's understand that part what we have basically okay so talking about as we are discussing about programming language so the programming language we have c c++ java like that what will happen let's suppose this is our computer this is nothing but our computer and there will be cpu over here okay and we have uh, compiler and there is another system or there is end user okay who gonna give instructions as we are discussing about programming language in programming language we have set of instructions the programming language is nothing but a software it is a software developed software which is developed by giving set of instructions the set of instructions together the set of programs together is nothing but a software okay our programming language is also a software okay so how it will work out how we will give the instructions basically let's suppose there is one end user or one developer he will use which language he will use some or the other programming language that is c c++ or java anything he will use and there will be a compiler and there will be a cpu finally there will be computer so what is the need basically why we should give the instructions in any programming language only why can't we give in telugu why can't we give in english or why can't we give in any of our mother tongue basically this question might have come into your head for this the simple answer is computer only understand binary language that means computer is only able to understand zeros and ones if the format if your name if my name if anybody's name or anything any format any digit if it is in a binary format if it is with zeros and ones then only computer is able to understand it computer is can, cannot understand any other language for giving any instruction there is binary format for giving instruction to, to the computer it is humanly not at all possible to give instruction in a binary language for that purpose we need a programming language which by using which we can pass the instructions to the computer and computer should also understand it and execute it for that purpose what will you do this end user will use the it will make use the language programming language that is either c c++ java okay and there will be a compiler okay there will be a compiler the role for this compiler is the compiler is responsible to convert this programming language code whatever you have written into binary format zeros and ones okay and this will be cpu and based on it it will be passed the byte code will be passed to computer okay once the computer performs its operations and the, the again the output will be given to our understandable format in english or in uh, whatever language we prefer in that way it will come out that is nothing but this operation is done by compiler or interpreter what is the difference between compiler and interpreter compiler will compile all the code at once 
okay interpreter will do line by line compilation is nothing but if there are any errors are there anything if you have missed or not that part will be checked by compiler this is about programming language we have different kinds of programming language we have c language first of all we have c language do you guys nowadays everyone is tending or showing their interest to learn c language nowadays program people are showing interest to learn java language and python dot net like that what is the significant significance of these languages why basically the need or is there to learn these languages we will get to know in next video okay in today's video we have understood that the basic programming language is that computer does not understand english or any other language of mother tongue language it doesn't understand it only understand binary language to give instruction in binary language it is highly impossible as a human being so uh, what we have to do we have to make sure one language we have to make use of one language and with that language we have to give instructions to the computer okay basically c language is there java is there c++ is there python dot net is there any one language you can make sure and you can give pass the instructions to the computer okay why we have to do why we have to learn these languages and pass the instructions by taking this much of hard work and effort because the complex operations the complex calculations can be easily done by computer the because of that major use we are using these languages and we are communicating with the computer i hope this video is very clear thank you so much guys thank you very much have a great day bye